what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today is finally Beloit Autorama car show day I've been waiting for this day for a long time I didn't get to go last year the first year I had my Camaro because it rained and it was pretty swampy I didn't really want to go so I currently just got out of work it's about three or it's about 4 40 a.m um car show starts at eight and there's a lot of stuff I gotta do gotta clean the Camaro outside and in get a couple things ready so let's get started just gotta get gas first but you guys are along for the ride today everything i do today we're vlogging it baby so we're gonna get going it's 4 42 a.m sunday morning day of the car show let's get started so we made it to stop number one we're at the car wash and as you can see the Camaro is really dirty and in need of a bath so she's probably really glad that we're here so let's get washing So the Camaro is all clean. Looks pretty decent to me. Uh, it's never going to be perfect because this thing wasn't a fire, remember? So it's never going to be perfect on the paint job. So now I'm going to take it home. Got a shop vac in my garage. We're going to clean this thing out. Then we're just going to wait till it's time to go to my grandpa's. I'm meeting him at his house and we're all taking our cars to the show. So let's hit the road again. All right, so I made it back home. My garage is a mess from one of the last projects I was working on. Ran pretty late. I didn't want to organize everything back up. But all we have to do now is pretty much vacuum the inside of the Camaro. Should be pretty easy. So there ain't much in, or there ain't much to it really. So you guys really don't need to watch that. But here's the vacuum. Time to get vacuumed. 346 minutes later. All right. It is sunlight out now. It is 8.14. I have no sleep. And I'm pretty tired. But I have my drone. and my camera. I have some water. I found this on the web. We have a Camaro. So we're going to get this in today. We're going to go to the car show. Uh, the next step here is going to my grandpa's house. Meeting him there. And then we're all gonna drive up there, so let's see how that goes. And we're gonna start right now. I didn't get a good spot because look at this right on the river that's a good view catfish right on the river uh, my grandpa ended up over there I don't know why he didn't just park here with me but I got a good spot I'm happy with it I'm gonna get set up trying to register my car the line is only like 10 miles long so that's great right I'm so tired it's so hot out here
So from what I've been told, there's close to about 800 cars here, just from what I've been told. This is really my first walk around the place, see if we can catch any cool cars and I'll show you all them. Let's check out this thing. Super nice. That's beautiful. It'd be awesome to have one of these too. Uh oh, I wandered into the truck section, brother. Look at all these trucks. Another beautiful Firebird here. Oh, I love it. I need it. Just like this one. That car is so beautiful. Another one's very, very clean. God, these cars are so beautiful. A lot of Firebirds. Haven't seen a Camaro yet. Keep our eyes out. Let's see what we got. Here we go. We got three GTOs in a row. Awesome cars. One of my dream cars here, 1977 Firebird with the T-tops. This thing is drop dead gorgeous. Definitely gonna own one of these one day. Mark my words. Man. And finally, a Camaro convertible SS. Super clean. Very, very nice. Another Firebird. LT1. I am absolutely in love with the way these interiors look on these second gen Firebird and Trans Ams. I cannot wait to have one of these. Another beautiful GTO. Another nice LT1 Camaro with T tops. Yeah, I got those seats. Same interior. Very familiar with the black Camaro that I used to have. Why is it go this way and work all the way down? Very nice. A lot of weird smells here. It's starting to freak me out a little bit. Classic. Another one of my all-time favorite cars. I love the way the interior of these look too. Beautiful! Oh. Very nice. I think I stumbled around the wrong block, governor. Look 
of the OG. And just like that, somehow my dad managed to be right next to me even after showing up almost two hours since I've been here. Pretty cool. Right on the river still. And all right, just like that, I am finally back home. It is a little bit past 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon, and I am feeling pretty tired. I've been up almost 24 hours now, but it was well worth it. The show was really good. I was really glad to go. Uh, I got to spend time with my grandparents and my dad. Uh, my dad had his car, and my grandpa had his car. It's always good to go out with um everybody. Got to watch the Packer game a little bit while we were there. The Packers won, so that's good. Um, takeaways from the car show, I want a 77 Trans Am even more now. Cars are so beautiful. We've seen a lot of great F-bodies today. A lot of good looking cars, good looking GTOs, good looking Camaros, Chevelles, whole bunch of nice cars, but overall, really good day. It was a little bit hot, uh, had to keep moving around to find the shade. But uh, luckily, back by the river, it was really nice. There was a lot of trees. But other than that, I am gonna try to, or I'm gonna finally try to get some sleep. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little different than what I used to, or like I'm used to doing. But I enjoyed making the video today. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. So other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next time. Peace.